The inauguration of the European Union Caribbean Community Climate Change Center water project in the Debara community took place on Friday morning. The Debara people are very, very fortunate. As indicated, the capacity for the water has increased from 10,000 to 25,000. And be, during the process, while this project was um, being constructed, we had a number of community meetings. So it is one where the people in the area understand what the project is about, the value of the project. Wasco came in a number of times. I accompanied them, and we engaged the community so that they develop an appreciation for this project. The project aims to strengthen the Caribbean's climate-resilient water infrastructure, ensuring water security for all communities. After years of enduring long walks to the river to fill your containers, you can now boast of having a consistent, clean and reliable supply of water for every household, every school and every corner of Debara. Sustainability Minister Sean Edward highlighted the importance of climate risk management as a crucial step in enhancing the Caribbean's resilience against climate challenges. Climate change impacts every facet of national development. It impacts tourism, it impacts agriculture, Education is not spared, health is also impacted, and our water sector is at the mercy of climate change. And so for us to treat with the issues as they arise, we have understood as a region and as St. Lucia, we must rely on our, our friends in international communities, whether it is a friendly government or international agencies, to help us meet the goals and the targets we would have set for ourselves. Susanna Fuetes, Programs Manager for Climate Change at the Green Deal Partnership with the Caribbean Delegation of the EU to Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS and the CARICOM, explained that beyond the technical aspects of the program, the key takeaway is ensuring a sustainable and clean water supply for residents. How we can improve uh, with the treatment of the water that you, at the end, you arrive at your house, in your communities, in your families, open the tap and you get a clean and uh, water that you can trust, that you can drink directly. It is not cool. And you know the, the best thing, it is not just that, it is also that it is powered by sunshine. Chamberlain Emmanuel, head of the Environmental Sustainability Division at the OECS Commission, announced that three key areas in St. Lucia have been selected for water sustainability upgrades. These areas were chosen for their potential to create the most significant impact and bring about transformative change. And right here at, at Debara, um, we would have um, looked at the situation and transformed the, the storage capacity from 10,000 gallons to 25,000 gallons. And also, as, as Susanna indicated, all the while in um, um, adding climate resilient technologies such as solar, um, solar energy. So that's what practically the project has done. Um, the investment is, is quite generous from, from the EU. Um, we had at, at Plainview spending over 330,000 EC dollars. At, um, at Vana, over 575,000 EC dollars. And right here at Debara, over 1.06 million EC dollars. The project received warm appreciation from residents. Indeed, it's a wonderful project and for sure we know that it's going to benefit us in the longer run. How it was before, before this? Well, before the project, the community, when it rained heavily, would have cloudy water. But since its establishment, we've had good quality drinking water. And what's the response from the community about this? Well, I've spoken to a lot of the members of this community and they are extremely happy and proud. You know, um, they've been telling me over and over how pleased they are, how proud they are, and on behalf of the community also, I wish to thank all those who made this project possible in this community. Stakeholders in attendance reaffirmed their commitment to addressing the challenges of climate change through initiatives like this one, which they recognize as crucial steps towards securing a sustainable and resilient future for generations to come. Chuakim de Blasey, HDS News Force. Yeah.